I'm supposed to make that noise. I think it is. I don't have anything funny to say about any of these logos, <laughs> by the way. Well, hey everybody, I'm CPC Gamer. And CPC Sister the First. Oh, look at that werewolf guy! He's loving it! <laughs> this is Let's Play for a Day, and it's a game that we're only gonna play once, and afterwards, never again. Do you know what we are playing today? No. Super happy rabbit thing with a ridiculously long tongue. And a minty fresh loading screen. <laughs> no, I think you'll know what it is when we get into it. We need to select this option, by the way. I so I'm gonna do that. We'll take your word for that. Okay. You can read this, right? Bits of it, yes. Okay. Oh, and this is the tune that you want. I like this tune. Push the start button. There you go. So first of all, you decide how difficult you want the game to be by how spicy you want your curry to be. I thought that was a bouncing plate of food. So that that's quite nice. I'm going to go for level one. Yes. I don't like spicy curry. <laughs> We've just come from having curry. Circle button. Japanese game. So, um... This is Puyo Puyo 2. Um... Can I say what this actually is? Go for it. Is this the mean bee machine? It is! It is also a game called Kirby's Avalanche, if you live in America. They ported the same game, like, three different times as three different things. What does that say? So, uh, I don't know, that one's kanji. The oh. last one says she, I think. Yeah, kanji's terrifying, don't read that. Uh, okay. I will cross that off my <laughs> list. It's a shame because that's the one that everything important is written in. I don't remember how to do this. Um, well, in any case, th this was originally launched for... This particular game was originally launched for Sega C2 in the arcades. But this is the PS2 version. Because this is what you want to do with a PS2. Absolutely. A game that's like a megabyte in size. <laughs> this game comes on a DVD, by the way. Okay. For a megabyte. <laughs> Good. So they move. Well, the um, the rest of the DVD is promotional trailers for other things in the Sega Ages series. That makes more sense. Like Columns and Outrun. <laughs> I miss Columns. Columns is another thing you want to do with this particular console, right? All of this processing power just columns. Yeah. But Prob this is better. The beans are moving. Yeah, there, there's a lot more sort of character put into them versus the Mega Drive slash Super Nintendo versions. Look at it. That one was dancing. <laughs> what am I doing? I used to be good at this game. Well, you see, there is a, a two-player versus mode, but I decided let's not do that because you would probably beat me quite handily. <laughs> Yeah. We we were talking about this in the coffee shop before we came over, and Mum said, "But I do really well." Of course you would. I'm finished Tetris. So um, actually she did, didn't she? Yes, with the rocket and the music yeah. and the everything. I only got some of the band to show. That's how good <laughs> I was at it. That's not very good. So I figured, you know what, we're probably just going to sit down and let's have a couple of games of this for a bit. And it still isn't Panic. So I'm very sorry, Ash, but I will get round to playing Panic when the stars are right. I'm panicking, if that helps. Good Link. <laughs> it's too fast. Well, it's like with most things, it, it, it will ultimately slow down. Which I think defies the point of the difficulty gauge of the whole thing getting faster. But there you go. Also, there's a little orange guy in the middle. He seems to be favoring your team. Really? Well, he's on your side. I admire your optimism, little bunny thing. Was well, in in the Bean Machine, which is the version that we played. His name was Has Bean. I remember. And in this version, his name is Carbuncle. Oh. That's a less cute name. Yeah. 
Oh, it's the name with that little green thing from Final Fantasy. Sure. Like, maybe in Japan it, it has different connotations. I don't know. But, um, it was Kirby in the Kirby games. That would be cute. Well, I think it works because Kirby has a lot of, like, character as a character, if that makes sense. And he, um... Yeah. You can see him bouncing around and just doing stuff. So that's why he's the little, I guess, cheerleader, for lack of a better term. Yeah. Okay, I totally meant to do that. It's fine. Well, you see, I find that happens when you fill up the screen, having like, you start making combos, but then forget where you, you're going with it. <laughs> like that, I just... Not sure where that blue-yellow one was going, guys. Ah. But then you get a combo, and it just keeps going. At least that is what I find. It's not, it's not happened yet. Oh, well, that's what I was doing. We did also mention in the coffee shop that this is the direction that the commentary may turn. <laughs> it just, oh, no, no, no. Ah. And if that happens, we shall do some sort of David Attenborough overlay. <laughs> Oh, and here we see the Tetris players doing a thing. I will leave that up to you. <laughs> we'll do it like that Planet Earth overdub with Snoop Dogg. That is the <laughs> best thing. I don't know who thought that was a good idea, but they were right. This don't make the funny noises. They do. The, the only thing that is different is the voice that happens when you get a combo. Because you are, like, a character, an established character. Because in the version we played, you were meant to be Sonic, weren't you? Wait. Oh, yeah. I think you were Sonic, but you were just sort of off-camera shuffling the beans around. Um, in this one, you are Arl. Her name is, and she is like a sorceress or a witch or something like that. And I think the premise might be that you are like these are your spells, and you're getting the components in the right order. I'm not. I'm not sure I would make spells look like this if I were making spells. Oh, that was bad. I need a purple one. There's one. That will do. <sighs> so basically, because you can't see like me with my controller, I pretty much just put it down. <laughs> I thought, that'll do! Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Or that. And I'm just delaying the inevitable at this point. <laughs> this is the worst part of these games, by the way. Oh, there goes me. I am not far behind you. And I didn't even get into the high score table. What a letdown. Well, I'm looking at the timing. I'm going to do another one. <laughs> See, basically, we had a couple of ideas for what to record today. And I decided, do you know what? I got this game for my birthday. I'm going to play this game. An excellent present. Ah, raspberries. That works. Never mind. But yeah, no, the, there's also a, a plot to this one, like there also with the bean machine, but it's it's something like you have to climb a tower by getting a certain amount of points. Basically, the thing acknowledges that it is a video game. It's one of those. Okay. So that's one of the best kinds I find. I don't think you need a story for this kind of thing. Just shuffle the beans. Oh yeah, basically. Like, well, because I mean, even in like the '90s when we hadn't played with the Mega Drive, did we really necessarily play with a plot? Because I mean, I know Tetris didn't have anything. It was <laughs> just there are blocks that are made of four of them. <laughs> you know, scientific measurement. That's why they are called tetrominoes, I guess. Are they? 
Yeah, the, the, the pieces are all called Tetrominoes internally. Huh. No, I just call them Tetris bricks as well. Good to know. I don't think your lamp calls them Tetrominoes, does it? Uh, no. We should explain that. <laughs> Would you like to explain that? Uh, was it last Christmas? Two, two, uh, 2014. Christmas. Um... You got me a uh, Tetris lamp, and I got you Tetris Jenga, which we have still not played yet. Well, maybe we will we'll do that in a bit, because you're here for a bit. So we're going to do this, and then that. I'm really not sure how Tetris Jenga is going to work. Me neither, because surely... Oh, there, he's doing that little dance thing. I used to like that sprite. But, um... No, I don't know how Tetris Jenga's going to work, either. Maybe that will be the fun. <laughs> why... why is it a bouncing plate of food? Um, it's curry. Yeah, but... I like that the, the harder it gets, the spicier the curry gets. What's wrong with a pointy finger? I don't... I remember that the version we had in the Bean Machine, it was like the heads of the robots from the various levels. Like, level 5 was Dr. Robotnik or whatever. Oh, yeah. You and your memory. I know. Ask me what I studied in university. <laughs> there's, there's the tricky bit. <laughs> it's not like I paid for that or anything. having Scottish children so they don't have to. Not presently, I feel we should add. Well, no. That, that... Mum keeps suggesting go stay with your uncle in Canada. <laughs> that being me, but I... We've missed out on several steps in that procedure. Yeah, one or two fairly vital ones. What am I do I had a plan. <laughs> what am I doing? I, I should probably point out it's like 9 o'clock at night at this point, and we've had a long day of doing stuff. Yeah. And this this is how I, mostly, chose to finish off the day. You can blame this one on me. Yeah, I'm going to blame the tiredness for why I'm rubbish at this. That's clearly the reason. As, well, as I established with OutRun, as long as it is anybody's fault but my own. That's a, that's a good motto. That'll be our family motto. <laughs> Anybody's fault but mine. Yes. We were talking family mottos from Game of Thrones before we, we started this. and Still better than hear me roar. Oh, my stars get it together. <laughs> now, you see, I've only watched the show, not read the books. But I'm fairly sure the Lannisters do not have it together. That's... <laughs> That's well, part of their thing. There is that. But that would be a pretty boring book, to be fair. Everything is fine. <laughs> Nothing happens. The end. What war? <laughs> Nobody would even die. It, basically nothing would happen. I have to say, the thing that surprised me was that in watching it, not as many people have been killed as I had been led to believe. Oh, give it time. Like... Well, I, I've watched up to the end of Season 4, and there, there has been a lot of character death, but it's not the case of, like, every episode, that guy's gone now, you know? They really did deviate from the books then. Well, as has been explained to me by Simon, um, in the show, the characters are what they think they are in the books. If that makes sense. No. Like, well, for example, Ramsey Bolton is not a strategic genius. He's just some awful child. But in the show, he's a strategic genius. At least that was explained to me. Mm. And that little orange bean has wandered quite a ways <laughs> away from me. Loves me. He, she, it, thing. It's hard to tell because it has that one voice that a lot of Japanese characters have. 
I'm, we can't really hear it because we've turned the TV down, but when you hear it, you'd go, oh yeah. I may have just ruined my amazing combo. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but you know what? It doesn't matter. As long as we're entertaining people. Am I right? You'd better be entertained by this. We're having fun. That's what matters. <laughs> Me having fun. <laughs> Me <laughs> Maybe entertaining people somewhere down the line if I think it counts. Oh, I totally meant to set up that combo. Check me out. Well done! <laughs> this is going to be an interesting one for me to watch back, like when I'm layering the commentary over this, because I'm staring fixedly at, at my side of the screen. Me too. And I'm sure you've got a lot of amazing combos going on that I... Yeah. That I'm not... You keep thinking that. <laughs> But now, Game of Thrones. I have stopped reading because I don't know who anybody is anymore. Because they all died, and then we got a whole new set, and then they all died, and then we got another new set, and probably they've all died as well. I would be interesting Spoilers. in. Well, see, I'd be interesting in, in reading it if I knew that it was as done as it's going to get, <laughs> or finished. Yeah, no. Because there's a lot of videos of. George R. R. Martin procrastinating, <laughs> but very little of him actually writing. And we now return to competitive novel writing. <laughs> That's probably a thing, you know? Oh, lots of things are probably things. That was a good sentence. <laughs> I talk in my leisure time. <laughs> good English points for you. <laughs> Oh, uh, this is my native tongue as well. Oh, you should hear me bumble through Japanese. But not really, because I'm sure I'm pretty bad at it. You're allowed to be bad at your not first language. True. Am I allowed to do it in a Cockney accent? No. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing ever is allowed to be done in a Cockney accent. Not even Cockney rhyming slang. Especially Cockney rhyming slang. That's some of the best. I don't know why I wiggled that left and right. <laughs> Have it? Possibly. Maybe I'm just gonna gonna explain that as well. Would you like to? <laughs> I don't know why I wiggle stuff around. <laughs> I'm getting new CPC gamer lore. No. No. You may have to explain it to me afterwards, because I haven't got a clue. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> also, it's another cute game. I've noticed that my Let's Play for a Days, they're mostly racing games or really cute games. Or both, like Pocoyo. <laughs> I like that one. It it cracked me up and continues to do so that I just giggled at the start of it. I don't know why, because I knew what was coming. <laughs> but there was me giggling at video games, the best series on YouTube. Ah, ah, it's fine. Yeah, see, he's shuffling back my way now. <laughs> I entirely meant to do that. Oh, sorry, I've kind of lost track of what I'm doing now as well. <laughs> That's something I find when you play this game and ones like it, like Tetris or Tetris Attack, is that you you kind of start off getting all these combos together. And then after a while you just go, no, that'll do. Just as long as I'm scoring points here and there. And I hope everybody likes the theme of Puyo Puyo, because this is going for about 20 minutes now. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, 20 minutes have just passed on the re recording oh. thing. Time flies. So I think when I get a game over, I'm going to call it, and I'm going to be done. And I will sit here trying to distract you. <laughs> uh, it doesn't take much, really. But, oh, don't get it wrong. Set yourself a bigger challenge. <laughs> the... States 
and their capitals. <laughs> there we go. I'm actually kind of good at those. Oh. Um, my American friends don't know why, because some of them aren't very good at <laughs> the state. Apparently it is drummed into you a lot in school. It's like map D for us. And like map D, it just never comes up. And I like to think a lot of maybe English high school students just had flashbacks. <laughs> The thing that kind of let I, I feel let down by is the best track in the series is not on this disc. Huh. Why not? Uh, I don't know. Um, it's called The Brave of Puyo Puyo. It's a very sort of Englishy sentence, but it's the theme used for the introduction for the final boss in the other versions of the game. But for whatever reason, it's not on this disc. There's also no option to turn the music off, otherwise that's what we'd be listening to right now. I'd, I'd set an MP3 going and we'd just listen to that. I have ruined my own combo. <laughs> Although I have to say, we're doing kind of well for talking while we're doing this. I know. And I haven't really played this since high school. I don't believe that. I, you know, I put it in for five minutes and went through the options when it arrived, but I've not straight up sat down and played it, played it. I don't think I'm ever going to get to those uh, blue beans down there, am I? <laughs> uh, no. Sorry, you should probably look at your own screen. <laughs> I'm fine. I can multitask. Sort of. I can't. I can at work. And... Because I work with a predominantly female workforce, they don't think that's impressive. <laughs> I go, oh yeah, I'm multitasking. And... So do we, at all times. Oh. Oh! Ah. <laughs> I thought that was going to clear the screen. I was so excited to just breathe life into my combo counter again. All of the green beans. Do you know what I've noticed? There isn't um, the special beans in this one. Oh yeah. We've been playing for a while and we haven't seen them. I have just forgotten everything about this. I remember, th well, in Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, I don't know about the two Kirby games based on this engine, um, has been the little orange guy in the middle would wander around and he'd turn every bean a certain, certain color. And there was Big Bean, who would just create a column in whatever it landed on. And I'm sure they showed up in this mode. Or maybe it was the head-to-head -head mode. I don't remember. We never really played that, did we? I don't think so. Because you were always so much better than everyone. I played more games. <laughs> I have been thinking lately, I don't like Mario as a character because he seems to be the kid that owns the game, if that <laughs> makes sense. Like, he has to win because it's his game, and he's had the most practice at it. Mm. Or maybe that's just how it goes with my Smash Brothers Amiibos. What else, what else, what else? Oh, there was... I think it was in this one, or the next one in the series, there was going to be an extra colour. <gasps> it was going to be teal. Ooh. But then they figured that is way too many colours to reasonably shuffle around. So let's not do that, it is silly. Oh, but I like teal. I gotta say, I don't like the, the way that they emote, because I feel like I did something wrong. <laughs> Like, did I just break my combo because all the red beans look like they're crying? It's not a good day if you didn't make a bean cry. That is another good family motto. <laughs> I'm full of them today. You can tell that you are a writer. <laughs> Published novelist! Short story. Still counts. <laughs> I had a poem in an anthology in year four. That's my crowning achievement for writing. 
suitably impressed. That came out more sarcastic than I meant it to. <laughs> For new viewers, we are English. Sarcasm <laughs> is, is just the default setting, so it's it's fine. F-Y-N-E, which means it's actually fine. <laughs> oh, community was so good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I still want more of it. I haven't seen all series. Every series. All the series is this. You know what I mean? Yes, conjugate while we're doing <laughs> this. Wordage is hard. Oh, no. My brain's running too slow. Whatever I dropped two beans ago was in the wrong place. <laughs> this is a new term I've learned called cascade failure. And basically means that I'm pretty much done. How? I don't know, because I seem to have pulled it back. Still, I don't know. What the? It's going too fast, I can't even move them. You can tell this used to be an arcade game, didn't Like, no, you've had enough for your 100 yen. <laughs> now we're done. Or however much it would cost. 20p in England. <laughs> And I'm out. Has been strictly on my side though. Ooh. Th this is you, you can type your name in. Oh. I was I was watching you. What the uh what? And then Why would you never mind. <laughs> and Don't then go up with the alphabet. And then it's probably circle to go to the next one. Oh! Crackles. <laughs> Mum said she's going to be watching this oi, one. Oi. She's going to be watching this one back. We had better be polite. So I like that we're doing PG profanity. I got my surname wrong. Surname initial wrong. Give me some beans that I can make into a combo. <laughs> <sighs> well, that's it for this series. <laughs> they look so sad now that they've fallen down. <laughs> oh, loves oh, me. you're right. This is going the wrong See? way around. Don't go up the alphabet. Oh, I let you get your last name right. Well, you Rude. know, it's it's all good. Rude. Uh. That one. <laughs> did you read that or did you guess? Little bits of it. I read the, the two words at the bottom. Oh, and there's a cool werewolf guy. And Big Bean. Awesome. In any case, this has been Let's Play for a Day. And it was Puyo Puyo 2. So join us next time for something I don't know what. Something exciting. Well, let's hope so. And until next time... Goodbye. Bye.